Well good morning, Sunday morning and I just wanted to show you this before I get on with the uh, surface grinder. I didn't film it but I just wanted to give you an update. I've rebuilt my sharpener. This assembly here I completely rebuilt. You can see I've shaped this, gave it a coat of paint both sides and I've even put a little gauge on here. I had some paint to use up, I started off with black, run out, put red on, ran out and then I found some uh, this yellow paint, I had three cans of it so I just used it all up. So I've ended up with this really bright looking sharpener. So let's just put this on. This is the gauge, uh, Oops, and then I can show you that as we go along. I suppose I don't need that, need that washer. Okay. So I don't get any crap inside it. This is obviously the business end. And now that this has been reset properly, this whole assembly has been rebuilt, this is a lot more positive now, this. See, it doesn't move, just very slightly. Alright, I just want to quickly show you this gauge. Um, nothing complicated about it, but I just wanted to show you anyway. I'll take that off, make it a bit easier to show you. There's a nut under here, and there's a nut there. This is just calibrated so that this measurement here obviously relates to the bottom of this hole up here, because that's obviously where I'm going to find the angle. I simply undo the nuts. If I want to find a lower gauge, just drop it down. If I want to find 18, you know, if you're going to be sharpening I know, a kitchen knife, something more like that. Most of my knives are uh, sharpened uh, 20, 22, bushcraft knife, something like that. But so just tighten that up and Bob's your uncle, that's it. Now you're on a different angle and you can always be consistent with it. So although it's not complicated and probably to be honest with you not that important, I've got an angle finder on my mobile and I can always put that on there and find out where it is. I thought it was something quick and simple to do so I thought why not. Nice and positive. Just thought I'd show you that. Let me know what you think. You will be seeing this in some upcoming knife builds I'm going to be doing. So once again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you again very soon.